shit about an innocent dead person. Let me break it down for you because I know about his life and shit and what he did. This man was the greatest music entertainer of all time and he's been falsely accused of f***ing children since 1993 and this shit is still going on, believe it or not. And it's fucking wild that that is still happening. Like, it's been decades and they still do this shit. You know how fucked up that is. All these and media outlets still spitting out the same bullshit garbage and now they tried making a documentary trying to paint him as a horrible person when really that's not what's fucking happening what's happening is those people who were children back then who met Mike were trying to get money off him those were money grabbers you know Mike he he donated so much money to charities this man saw a homeless person on the street he would buy him food there was a video where someone came up to Mike they're like I'm hungry could you uh, buy me something to eat and then Mike like talked to his security he's like yo go buy him a pizza or something like you know that's fucking that's so trash of Mike bro he went to the hospitals for sick children he literally took his time out of his day just to hang out with them brought presents over Give them presents. I do as many hospitals as I do concerts. I do as many orphanages as I do concerts. But because it's good news, the press don't cover it. They want bad news. But I do it from my heart. I don't do it to wave a flag and say, look at me. We bring bags of toys and posters and albums. And you should see how it transforms these kids. They jump up and down and they're so happy. This is Lisa Marie and myself at a hospital in Budapest. And I saw this little kid, his, his name was Farkas. He was very sick. He was green in the face, but he had this, this glow and this sparkle in his eye. I asked this nurse, what's, what's wrong with this kid? She said that uh, he needs a liver. So uh, I said, does that mean he's gonna die? She said, yes, he's gonna die unless he gets a liver. I said, I'm not gonna let him die, this sweet, sweet angel. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna find and live for him. So I sent my organization around the world. We went all over the place, and it took a long time. And I said, I'm not giving up. I'm, I'm not gonna have this child die. I was so happy when I got a phone call. They told me we found the liver, and he has his life. And I'm so proud that I could help him. God bless him. I love you, Farkas. Do you see any other celebrity really doing that? I don't think anybody was ever on the level of how Mike was. He was so generous. He was just too good of a person. And people, they don't know him that well like I do. They don't learn, they don't want to learn enough about him. You know what I mean? I've been studying up with him since, for as long as I can remember, since I was a kid. And it's not just because I'm saying this all because I'm a fan. I took my time. I researched. I looked up things. I took my time doing all this. And there's still people out there who are ignorant. Ignorant, ignorant people. People really took advantage of Mike's kindness. If you guys want to see a look into Michael's personal life and how he was with his children, go on YouTube and look up Michael Jackson's home videos. Literally, they're all on there, or if not all, most. You'll see what I'm talking about. This man is not what you think he is, what the media painted him out to be. That's not him. Go listen to his music with the good messages in it, like, they don't care about us. Herb Song, um, and the other ones that I can't think of on top of my head. Because he has way too many good songs. Not even just ones with messages, but the ones about love. There's a lot of love songs on there. When Michael Jackson bought Neverland Ranch, it wasn't just his home, you know? It wasn't just...
than just his home. Because the thing is, he made that place fun. He bought animals. He made a zoo in his old home. He built park stuff. He had a Ferris wheel, I think. I think. He had all that type of cool shit. He did it for the children. He would literally invite children to his home. Even sick children. He had a, he had a, a personal movie theater in his house. And he would put movies on for those sick children to cheer them up. People are just disgusting who have nasty thoughts in their mind. Oh yeah, my kid or whatever. Like the fuck? What, are you thinking that? Do you want to do that? Is that what you want to do? Is that your intentions? Why would you even say that? You know what I'm saying? So anybody who just goes on the internet and just shamelessly says, Oh, Michael with kids. Are you listening to yourself? Do you know how crazy you sound? You sound like you're a pedophile. You sound like you want to go fuck kids. You sick bastard. Anyways, I'm gonna get off here because I'm starting to get pissed off because of how fucking stupid people are. Come on, dance with me.